two, one. What's going on, ladies and gentlemen, children of all ages? It's October 10th. Do you know where your kids are? They're here, hanging out. Thursday Night Live, Click Track Profit. I'm John Go. That's Blaine. We're here for the party. We're here to dance on camera and make awesome affiliate marketing sense. Or something along those lines. Welcome. Please do, if you can, share this with your friends and family. Uh, let them know you're here. Share it on Facebook. Let them know, hey, we're live. We're, 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 we're here. We're going to have some fun. We're going to learn lots. Uh, and we're going to start it off with a little bit of bragging. Because that's, that's what we do here. That's what we do. We dust off our shoulders. I was actually seeing there's a piece of white here, and it's probably from my child. Um, spit up. So I'm very professional here with my steam shirt with a little bit of baby spit on my shoulder. Hopefully you guys will forgive me. Um, hi, Eric. Welcome. So yeah, um, I did a, we did a blog post today on CTP Talk, and in it, <clears throat> we were discussing something you know it's it's been over like two months now since we relaunched and i thought and it's always good i think to have kind of refreshers or recaps let's say of of what we've done over the past two months because this let's be honest this is not the sexy time right sexy time is the first week you know the first two weeks maybe that, that's sexy time that's when everybody's really really excited like oh click track profit is back oh it's exciting let's get into it two months later not that exciting. Not that exciting. This is, this is the grunt work. This is the stuff that kind of uh, determines the, 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 the winners from the, the, the excuse machine, let's say. Um, and uh, so I thought today was a really good idea to kind of do a refresher of what's been going on over the past two months. Uh, so Monday night and Wednesday night, we, we went over everything that we're doing CTP talk wise with, with the blockchain and social media. But what about the what about the what about the nitty gritty, man? I mean, what about the stuff that's going on in CTP? Well, I did a little bit of calculation, a little inventory today, and did the blog post. And if you have not yet read it, this is what we have discovered since we've relaunched. Okay, inside of just just the training section, we're not even talking mastery or owner sections or anything. Just in the training section alone, one hundred individual lessons inside of 15 modules. Now, big shout out to Eric Gustafson. He did the math on this um, inside of, of CTP Talk. And he said, basically, it's like 500 hours or something of lessons. <laughs> I mean, there's something, it's crazy. It was, it was insane. There's tons of lessons for you guys to learn, a hundred of these. Um, and what's really important is that we get into the habit of doing this each and every day. And we'll touch on that in a little bit. We'll go over some of the numbers now, right? Uh, and then we'll dive into why it's important for you guys to keep showing up and show up and show up. So 15 modules, there's a hundred lessons in those 15 modules. On top of that, we actually have 18 lessons exclusively for our owners. Uh, inside of the owner's uh, training section, not only is the 18 lessons, but there is also nine webinars, the, the Wednesday night sessions that we record and we upload to YouTube. We also stick them inside of your members area, your, your, your owner's training. And then there's also four cPanel lessons that Blaine did inside of your owner's training. So yeah, Jen, I mean, uh, hopefully we, we hope it's valuable content for you guys, but I mean, a hundred lessons, 18 lessons for the owners, nine webinars, four cPanel lessons, that's a lot of, that's a lot of stuff, man. <laughs> so that's, uh, that's, that's a lot of stuff. That's over 130 individual lessons to help you guys on your affiliate marketing journey. So we cover all the topics, you know, from, from list building to personal branding, to content marketing, to social media, to traffic generation, you name it. Uh, we try to cover it all. Um, but, um, it's there for you guys. So it's good to know, it's good to remember that we have all that for you. Uh, but I think it's just as important to remind you guys to consistently log in, um, get into the habit of not only doing the training and logging in, but actually taking action on this stuff. So when we talk about building your list, you know, when we talk about, you know, setting up an email series that has, <clears throat> you know, a story based email series or, you know, an indoctrination series or something, write an email series, like learn the stuff that, you know, we have printable downloads that you can kind of template the, 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 uh, the email series, like print those out, learn, start doing the lessons, start actually putting pen to paper and making this a reality. And I think if we do that, 
<coughs> excuse me, combined with the fact that there's a hundred of these lessons, uh, you guys will be in, be sitting pretty here in a few months. So please uh, don't just go, oh, great. There's a lot of cool stuff in CTP and actually go and do it. Um, this is the biggest thing I've seen is that we have a lot of rah-rah going on. Now it's time for action. You know, the rah-rah is cool. Yay. Awesome. Good stuff. Liking stuff on Facebook, et cetera, et cetera. But let's get busy, man. Let's get in there. Let's start doing this stuff. If you're new to content marketing, do the content marketing training. If you're new to email marketing, do the email marketing training. If you're new to traffic wave, do the traffic wave training. If you're new to social media, do the social media training. I mean, there's so much content for you guys to learn from. Uh, now it's time, I think, to put pen to paper. And with that, I'm going to sip coffee and let Blaine say, yeah. Well, with that, so I wanted to, uh, <clears throat> today I went and I Googled uh, click track profit review. So John talks about all the training and everything that, that we're doing and everything. And I looked at reviews of ClickTrack Profit. Now I understand that these reviews were years and years ago. So they are based on the old ClickTrack Profit. And it, and it kind of reminded me of a lot of the reasons that we changed a lot of the things within CTP itself. Um, and I just want to hit on a couple of those things. And the, the, the first one that I saw most often, and I got to slide my... Uh, video thing over here so here's where the video is and then here's where the reviews are and then here's where Facebook is for me so that's really cool but uh, the first uh, the first thing that I saw with the reviews is that uh, it says low quality training with a bunch of upsells that's the first thing that you see with the very first review that you get from Google and so the old school click track profit was you joined and then you signed up to this traffic exchange and got so many hits to this, to your link and then this traffic exchange and then this so forth and so on. So we've revamped all of that completely and we've rebuilt all of the training. I have forced John to remake all of the training. A um, hundred lessons. Yeah. A hundred lessons. Uh, probably like 12 of those are mine at best, maybe 15, but the majority of it is John uh, without a doubt. <laughs> like I hit on the techie stuff, but John really likes to talk on camera. So I let him do all that. So we've gotten rid of the old school method of just do this, right? So our goal now is to teach you uh, the methodology, the how you're going to move forward with building a, your affiliate uh, business, your business as an owner, whatever it may be. Um, and then just to hit on the bunch of upsells thing, you don't get a bunch of upsells. There's not a bunch of login offers when you uh, roll into CTP or when you join or anything like that. Uh, so we've, we've kind of stepped back away from that and we'd rather you see the quality before you upgrade. Um, and, and, and if you choose to upgrade, if that's something that you want to do to get the additional training and stuff like that. Um, so those are the things that we've really kind of revamped and, and pushed on click track profit as well as a whole bunch of other stuff. And I just want to hit on, cause John's going to hit on the training and all of the stuff uh, that we're doing and everything. We're trying to continue to bring valuable content uh, through everything that we do with uh, CTP. And then I was looking for another uh, thing. First of all, uh, I, I thought it was funny. I was reading this review and it says owners, Barbara Erickson. <laughs> and then the next, the next sentence down, ClickJack Profit is a program owned by a company called Tim Tech. Well, that's exciting. Um, and then the, the uh, welcome, Donald. No worries. Everybody's late. Sometimes it happens. Glad you found the right one. It is October 10th. Yeah, make sure. But the oh, other Miller thing, is here too. What's up, William? How you doing, man? Good to see you. Yeah. So the other thing that a lot of these reviews hit on was how do I make money with click track profit? At the end of the day, you don't make money directly, directly with click track profit, right? You take the principles and the information that we give you and you have to apply those into your own marketing method and your own marketing style as an affiliate, as a business owner, it doesn't matter. And that's how you make money. Yes, we have an affiliate program, but we don't consistently pitch the affiliate program. People that feel that click track profit is a good program and is sound and everything that we do and provide is good, they're going to refer people automatically. That's not our biggest thing. That never has been our biggest thing. Our, our focus has always been on the training provided and the capabilities there. Um, so if you think that you're going to make a bunch of money with click track profit, 
our goal isn't that you, you can't. And, and that goes into like the old school, like MLMs, Ponzi schemes and all this other stuff where you have to refer and refer and refer. And then all those referrals have to refer and all this other stuff to keep everything going. That's not our goal uh, here with ClickJack Profit. Our, it's a training website at the end of the day. We're, we're here to provide you with training. That's, that's, that's our first and foremost goal. The second is the gamification. So trying to add just a little bit of fun to everything as you go along. So you're going to, to see stuff like that. And so the old ClickJack Profit had uh, the sub and vault games as well as, I think they were mines. Is that what they were? Sub games, yeah. Yeah, the sub games. games. Yeah, the sub mines. Uh, <clears throat> and that stuff. And we basically combined all of that into something a little bit better, more expensive, and more affordable. So ClickJack Profit sub and vault games were up to like $50 a day for one site. Our goal was to make it uh, much, much cheaper um, and, and more reasonable for website owners to, to be able to partake in if they wanted to. Uh, and we actually did a big old sale today of it and made everything 75% off. And then I've been giving out bonus tokens to anybody that purchased. So, yeah, um, man. But yeah, so again, our focus has always been on that training and, and trying to provide the best quality training. Uh, and a lot of the training comes from the members. They're asking for specific things. The cPanel training came from members. Uh, a lot of these, the, the training pieces, uh, we think of some, but a lot of it does come from the members asking how they do this, how they do that. And then we're building this whole new boot camp section, which is a whole nother piece. And it's going to be another hundred videos by itself. So, yeah, man, it's, it's like I said at the start, this is just, even though it's, it's two months in and this is not the sexy time because usually the sexy time again is the first week, right? That's when everybody's excited. That's when it's really easy to, to say, hey, come join CTP and take advantage of all the awesome training we have. Two months in, not so much, right? Two months in is kind of, but if you have remembered click track profit through the years and years and years, so one thing that the message of CTP has always been, stay the course. It has always been like, we're not doing the launch thing. We're not doing the, the ups and downs. We're doing the slow and steady growth. So we will continue to add new training because it's pretty obvious that I think you're going to need new information as new technology advances, especially in TE, not TE, excuse me, affiliate marketing world. The affiliate marketing world is always changing. There's new rules, there's new regulations, there's new tools, there's new speed. There's tons of new stuff. So as affiliate marketing training owners, we need to always stay up to date and keep you guys abreast of everything that's new. Uh, so something that might be working today might not work in a year from now, but in a year from now, we'll have training on that thing that is working because that's just the way we have to responsibly train people. So that being said, we're continuing, continuously looking for feedback, just like Blaine said, some of the ideas for the training that we've come up with, the cPanel training, um, a lot of the traffic wave affiliate stuff. A lot of this stuff was from members saying, hey, I don't know this. I, don't, I would like to know this. So if you have any feedback, please let us know uh, when it comes to that. Um, absolutely, Mike. And that's, that's the thing, right? Because that's the sexy part of affiliate marketing is the launch. Let's be brutally honest. It's exciting. You want to know why? Because that's when programs make the most money in the shortest amount of time. That is, your JV partners make the most money. As a program owner, you make the most amount of money. You don't make the most amount of money in, in a short amount of time, two months down the road. You may make more money long term, but in that short window, it's the launch phase. The launch phase is what really gets people excited. And I get it. I mean, that's a business model that works in affiliate marketing, and I salute it and it, whatever. But for something like CTP, it's really important that it stays the course. And just like Jen said, this is not the next shiny object. There's tons of shiny objects out there. CTP is going to be an evergreen product for you guys for years and years and years to come. Whenever there's something new, we'll talk about it. We'll discuss it. We'll bring it up in the webinars. Whenever there's something new that we think you guys should be trained on, we will cover it. We will learn everything we can about it and present the best information. But this is not a program hopping instant riches program. It never will be. It is literally slow and steady uh, because that's how it's worked for Blaine. That's how it's worked for me for, for decades of doing this stuff. It's, it's slow and steady. Compounding your residual income from evergreen products, tools like autoresponders, using autoresponders, tracking tools, using tracking tools, 
that's what CTP is. It's the hub, it's the community, and then we've combined it with um, the blockchain as well with, uh, for, for content marketing with CTP Talk. So I talked about this last night at the owner's meeting, and I thought it'd be a really good topic to kind of bring up for you guys, because while there wasn't a ton of people at the owner's meeting, we keep it very small and intimate. This is a big message I think you guys should know. And you're going to laugh because this is what I called the lesson yesterday. Are we, are we ready? It is lessons from sitting in the drive-thru at McDonald's. I'm going to take a sip of coffee and let that sink in for a second. I'm literally going to teach you guys something I learned about marketing and business while sitting in the drive-thru at McDonald's. We're waiting for the 26 seconds for people to really get this. So the, after the lag, so I can get a couple of eye rolls and LOLs and oh my geez. Uh, so yeah, okay. So I was in McDonald's, okay? Now, obviously you can tell, uh, thank you, thank you. <laughs> thank you, Rick, thank you. Um, you can tell from my, my incredible physique, I'm really, really, uh, health conscious. So while I'm sitting in the drive-thru ordering my McChickens, I do something a little, maybe, I don't know if you guys, I don't know, I don't know if you guys can, can relate to this, but this is what I do. Sometimes I just get on my phone and I Wikipedia things. So I'm eating a McChicken sandwich and I Wikipedia, Wikipedia McChicken sandwich. This is interesting, fun fact. The, the, the McChicken sandwich was actually a product failure when it first launched. It birthed the chicken McNugget, but, and now the chicken, the McChicken is back. But when it first started, it failed. They went back to the drawing board, created the McChicken nugget and you know, whatever they brought back to McChicken. But then it, I started looking, I'm like, man, look at all the program. Look, look at all the product failures that McDonald's has had, right? The pizza. Anybody remember, remember McPizza? That failed miserably. And think of the money they put into that thing. Uh, their entire deluxe line of burgers and sandwiches completely wiped up, wiped off. They've had so many products. You'd be blown away. Just Wikipedia this stuff. But this was the nugget. This is the lesson I got while sitting in the, in, in the drive-thru. The fact that they continue to throw things against the wall, to try new things, that are not, they are not afraid of failure. This is a company, like I said last night, that is up there with Coca-Cola for the most recognized brand on the planet, okay? Let, let that sink in. Let that sink in. Like Coca-Cola and McDonald's are some of the biggest brands in the world, but they continue to fail with new products. Coca-Cola, remember the new Coke? Remember that? That epic, pro that epic product failure? I mean, these are companies that are okay with failing. They're Remember okay. the, the, the clear Coke? The clear Coke. Yeah, Crystal Coke or Crystal Pepsi or whatever that was. Like, that I mean, thing was an epic failure at best. Or It's just like these, these type of products, they, the reason they failed is because these companies tried new things. They weren't afraid to try new things, to step outside of the comfort zone. Listen, they are never going to get rid of the Big Mac, right? They'll never get rid of the fries, the Coca-Cola. They'll never get rid of that. That is their, their solid foundation, their evergreen products. You see where I'm going here? That's their evergreen products. But because they have such a solid foundation, evergreen products, their Big Macs, Quarter Pounders, filet of fishes whatever, they can afford to take risks. They can afford to take chances. So where does all all of this come into play with us, the affiliate marketer, the person trying to build a business online. Well, the big lesson is to create that evergreen income. To me, it's the programs, uh, the lists, the, 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 the stuff that's never going to go out of style, right? Building your list, using autoresponders, tracking, personal branding, building your blog. Those five things are kind of like not your core five. <laughs> we'll see what we're going to do here. No, um, but it's, it's, your, it's your core foundation of the products that will be there all the time as much today as they will be in 10 years from now. Like that's just, that's your foundation. Once you build that foundation, you, you, you understand stock and, and flow content. 
you understand personal branding, you understand list building, you understand all of these fancy terms. Now you can afford to take some risks. You know what? Your buddy Jen has got an amazing new opportunity that, you know what? It kind of fits your model. It kind of does. It fits your model. Jen's been a good friend of yours. You trust her. You know her. You join this opportunity under her and you throw it, you throw it out there. You put it out there for people to try. You know what? Maybe not everybody thinks the same way as you. It fails. You spent a year promoting this thing. It doesn't work. But you know what? Doesn't matter. You took a chance. And it might have failed, but you still have that foundation. Now you can do like the McDonald's thing. The McChicken failed at first. They went back to the drawing board, created arguably, they're probably next to the Big Mac. It's like the thing they're known for the most with the McChicken, the, the chicken nugget, right? So you go to back to the drawing board, picking up the lessons that you learned while doing this stuff in real time. And you give it a shot. You give it a try. You see what happens. And this is... Marketing lessons from sitting in a drive-thru at McDonald's. I mean, it's, it's a funny title and it's joke, ha ha, fat ass guy talking about fast food. I mean, whatever. The point is, it's a very solid business idea. Get the foundation, the evergreen products working for you first. After you do that, now you can try things. You can launch new things. You can have, you can afford the failures because you have uh, the, the, the track record of having wins and having the evergreen products that are there for you. This is big. And this is a big problem. What I see online, when people jump online, they're trying to, they're taking risks without having that foundation. And there's nothing wrong with taking risks. Educated risks are part of entrepreneurship. But I would recommend spending the time to build that foundation first. Do the lessons in CTP that talk about the content marketing, that talk about the social media, that talk about the list building. Like do those lessons so that you get that kind of trifecta approach to building businesses online. You need the personal brand, you need the mailing list, you need the social kind of influence. Uh, the Woofy Factor, a really good book. You guys, Tara Hunt wrote, wrote that years ago. It's a Woofy Factor, really good book. Um, but you need all of these things to have that solid foundation. After you have the foundation, by all means. You know what, if Jen is gonna pitch you um, coffee and cards, Magic the Gathering or whatever Jen's into, <laughs> I'm just joking, Jen, I'm just bugging you. Um, you know, just give it a shot, um, give it a try. So um, that's, that's the lesson that we talked about last night in the, the owner's meeting, but it was, I think it's a huge nugget for all of us, pardon the pun, nugget. Um, <laughs> speaking of nuggets. Uh, but yeah, um, so ta-da, how's that? It's good. I think it's good. Not bad. It's juicy. Bad. <clears throat> no, seriously, though, you have to you have to do something. Like McDonald's wouldn't be successful today if they didn't try new things. Coke wouldn't be successful today if they didn't try new things. Somebody created something and wanted other people to know about it, and they continued on that, and they branched off of that, and they explored other things. Some things work, some things don't work. And it happens in every single industry. <clears throat> it happens with every single thing uh, across our world today. I mean, we, we live in a uh, basically capitalistic society. Uh, that's the word I was looking for, kind of. Um, and, and that's what you have to try. And, it, and as an affiliate, you may not have your own product, but you have to get out there and you have to try something and do it differently. Uh, I said in the video the other day uh, that videos have been a big, big thing in, in online presence for years now, years. Uh, but within a, the, the niche that we are in, in this small uh, piece, not that many people are doing video. Very, very few. Less than like 10% of the people are doing video of any kind. Uh, and it's great with CTP Talk now because now I'm watching people actually get on camera and actually start to do videos and that's really really good and that's a step but we have to continue to move forward and keep up pace with everything that's going on and we have to not be afraid to try new things and step outside of that box because that's where excellence happens right john's got that little thing that he shows up holds up every once in a while i was waiting on I got that it. i got it hold on i got so many of these things now it's so bad like i need to have a filing system for he needs like a rolodex for all I his do, it's, it's ridiculous here 
There we go. Success. Just found find right outside that comfort zone, right? Uh, and, and, and talking about that comfort zone, our comfort zone might be this big, but if we try something right here outside of it, then our comfort zone becomes this. And then we try something out here, it becomes this. And it just keeps growing and growing and growing. <coughs> Everything that we do becomes easier and easier. Uh, when I first started online and I had partnered with uh, Shane Boss, I had no idea how to do programming or anything like that. I'm completely self-taught because I stepped outside of my comfort zone and I learned and I tried to figure everything out and, and, and continue going on. And that's what we have to do. If we are looking to be in business for ourselves, at the end of the day, we have to stand up and tell ourselves that we have to make that commitment and we have to step outside of that box, our comfort zone of a boss telling us what to do all the time. Uh, and somebody scheduling our nine to five for us, right? So that's what we have to figure out and we have to do for ourselves as marketers, as internet marketers, as affiliate marketers, as entrepreneurs, as business owners, however you may uh, term it. But that's, that's what we have to do. And we have to follow those examples. That McDonald's, Coke, uh, Elon Musk, I talked about Elon Musk. He had like 15 failed products before PayPal. Um, and we have to continue moving forward. Understand that everything's not going to work how we wanted it to. It yeah. just, it's just how it is. And we have to move forward from that. So this is, um, this is a big nugget too. What, 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 you know, Blaine just talked about, and I'm shutting off my phone because this is when everybody calls when they know I'm online doing shows. Um, I, I talk about this a lot, top of mind, right? And a really good book, John Hall. I've recommended this book. I hope someone has taken me up on this and went and bought this book because I've been recommending this thing for years now. It is a fantastic right book. Now. Yeah, Top of Top of Mind by John Hall. I think it's John P. Hall is, his, I think, the middle initial. I'm not totally sure, but John Hall is the guy's the author. What this book talks about is how important it is, the stock and flow content, how important it is to do the flow content every single day. So what's the difference if you're, if you're brand new to this, you, this is a term you're not aware of. There's a difference between stock, your pillar content, and then flow content. Flow content is your selfies. It's your, hey, I'm still here. It's your posts. It's your images, the graphics you do on Canva, your, your, your webinars, whatever. Just stuff that keeps you in front of people all the time to keep you top of mind. The, the, the pillar content or the, the, sorry, the flow content is all that stuff. The stock content, your pillar content is what you're known for, right? Like the click track profit lessons of, um, you know, the 274, 273 a day thing, the, uh, the, the internet, mar uh, vor internet marketing vortex of doom content, the five, 500, 5,000 posts that I did on steam like two years ago. These are the things that people share and they talk about the most. Um, uh, you know, the, they, they talk about this content. That is, that is what you're known for. But to get to that stock or pillar content, you have to do the flow content. And that's what this book talks about. The reason that this is so important, I actually did a little, I was doing inventory on kind of like, you know, what I do every single day. I was doing some math and I have been on the steam blockchain now for 662 days. 662 days since I joined the Steam blockchain. I have done 649 pieces of content, blog posts, not comments, but actual posts on Steam. So roughly a post a day for almost two years. How much money do you think I'm making from all of that posting? 10 bucks, 20 bucks a day, maybe, maybe. It's not a lot, okay? But why am I doing that? Why do I continue to put co content out every single day? It's because when I do have something like the launch of CTP, my pillar content, my stock content, people will know about it because they'll see that John has got this track record of two years. That's why I'm doing the marketing on CTP because without that, without that consistently being out there in front of people, no one would give a rat's behind about anything we do. We could sit here and do the greatest webinar in the world. No one would care because no one would know. The fact that we're getting people to actually show up to our seminars and actually watch the replays and sign up to the social media accounts is because of the track record of doing 649 pieces of content over 662 days. 
this is not sexy. This doesn't sell. This is not like, you're not going to hear this stuff on other affiliate marketing training. What's up, Bonnie? How you doing? Welcome. Both Bonnies. Hello, Bonnie. Richardson and Roberts. Um, you're not going to hear this on the people that are ready to pitch you a $49 a month program or something. You're not going to hear it because that doesn't, it's not sexy. That's not, people are emotionally attached to things like, hey, pay this, press the button. It's done for you. You'll be a success in 30 days. That's what they're attracted to. Like, no one is going to be excited about me telling you, hey, you got to go for 662 days. Do about 650 pieces of content during those two years, almost two years. Like this just, it's not sexy. That's, that's not, it's not exciting. It's so not, it's not selling the sizzle. Okay. <laughs> it's not, it's really not fun to talk about it, but you know what? Go read that book about top of mind by John Hall. Read about the people that, why do you think so many of these people are huge successes? It's not that once they just jumped online and said, Hey, I'm a success. They have a track record. Like Blaine said, Elon Musk had a whole lot of flops before PayPal, arguably the greatest flop in history, in my opinion. No, I'm just joking. I love PayPal, really. Um, but, um, it, you have to do the grunt work. So how do you do it? Well, you show up every day and you actually do something. And it doesn't have to be war and peace. It doesn't have to be a Pulitzer Prize winning author. It doesn't, it doesn't have to be this extravagant post on Facebook. It doesn't have to be this epic picture selfie with the bikini bod on Instagram. It doesn't have to be, yeah, you can, you know, you know, show a little side, whatever. It doesn't have to be any of that. It just has to be you engaging with people or creating value for someone else. And it's as simple as a picture of your cat. I know that's corny. I know people like roll their eyes when they hear about the cat pics, but you know what? There's people that love cats, okay? And people will remember you as putting pictures of cats to make them feel all warm and fuzzy. It's not your stock content. It's not where you're trying to make your money. It's to remind people you exist. Huge, huge. If a company like Coca-Cola, I mentioned me and Blaine have talked about this this whole past week. If a company like Coca-Cola spends $11 billion a year, or I'm sorry, it's 11% of their, of their revenue, right? 11% of their revenue on marketing, advertising, and branding initiatives. And this is the biggest brand on planet Earth. Don't you think it's kind of important that we are put ourselves out there every day? Just, just, but some, some, warped reality is that internet marketers seem to think that they can take weeks if not months off and then jump back online and everybody's going to rush to them look at look at the work that me and blaine are doing for ctp ctp had a year of being we're still paying for the because we're trying to get it back up to yay but it's still because we were not top of mind for almost a year I'm telling you guys, the best investment you can make is not money wise. It's not going and spending a $47 a month program. It's nothing like that. It's to invest in yourself, learning about being top of mind, creating valuable content out there that people talk about, they share, they like. And that is how you generate tons of traffic to your website. It's how you generate organic traffic to your website. It's how you get people to know, like, and trust you. It's how you get people to join your mailing list. This is how you do it. Absolutely, Bonnie. And McDonald's, again, that was kind of the talk. The talk was <laughs> lessons I learned while sitting in a drive through at McDonald's. Um, but that's, that's the truth. Think about it. There's a reason why they put the, there's a reason why McDonald's puts the big golden arches outside right beside the road instead of tucked away behind all the buildings. There's a reason. <laughs> there's all, and we can talk about pri color, color theory too. There's a reason why you don't see neon greens and pinks and purples in big brands. You see the reds, you see the blues, you see the yellows, you see the greens, you see the blacks, you see the whites. That's what you see. You don't see the off shades of beige. There's a reason, but we can talk about that at another time. Anyways, I'm fired up tonight. I don't know you guys. And just to, just to hit on what you had said earlier, I continuously hear, and, uh, and when I say hear, I mean on the radio, and see commercials and advertisements for McDonald's. And at the end of the day, I'm thinking, who doesn't know about McDonald's? Right. They're still out there purchasing advertising 
even though everybody in the world has heard about McDonald's and knows about McDonald's. Literally the world. Yeah, it's like, it's crazy. <laughs> and then we think as marketers, oh, we can take weeks off and people are just gonna, oh, why aren't I getting results, John? Oh, Blaine, CTP doesn't work. Oh, affiliate marketing sucks. You look at the track record. They're not showing up every day. They're not using any of the social media stuff. They're not branding themselves. They're not building their lists, but they're sitting there wondering why they're not getting results. Now, here's the thing. This sounds like a lot of work, and it is. Here's the thing. You don't need to stress yourself. Again, this is what's really important about the stock and flow content stuff. You don't need to stress yourself out about creating epic pieces of content every day. You can do everything on your phone. And I'm sorry to the people that have the jitterbugs and, and the Palm Pilots and, and, and the phones that are not the smartphones. It's 2019. If you want to build a business online, you should probably get a smartphone. Not to be social and, and, and talk to your friends and take bikini pics, but to use the apps that will help you take the bikini pic. No, I'm just joking. Yeah, see, there's Blaine. Blaine's doing one. He's doing right now. You just throw it on Instagram, throw it on Facebook. Like, I'm here. Well, you can, yeah, okay. It's, that's a little awkward now. Now it's totally gone south really quick. Showing off my abdominables. Showing the abdominable snowmans. Um, but yeah, I mean, this is the thing. And this, this, this is, people don't want to hear this because they want to hear, they want to hear this. It, it, it's $47 a month. You'll be a success. That was easy. That's all you got to do. Just press the big red easy button and you're a success. But this is not how it works. Real world online business requires you to be in front of people every day. Not once a week. Not once a month. Not once one every day when you feel like it. It is every day. Just talk to people. Engage with people. Even if you don't feel like creating the content, go to a blog and make a comment on a blog. Heck, me and Blaine will pay you to comment on our blog in more ways than one. Actually, three ways, to be honest. <laughs> I mean, it's actually three ways we pay you on CTP Talk. But just, just, Jen, just do it, right? That's it. Just do it. Just don't look for the easy button. Embrace the grind. Embrace the hustle. Embrace the flow content. That's probably my biggest miss. I'm not, I'm not worried so much about your stock stuff, okay? Because that kind of comes with time. That kind of comes when you get your voice, you develop your voice, and you're confident in what you're promoting and building. But the flow content is what you need now. You need it. You need to be, there's, there's, a, there's, there's a reason why people succeed and fail. And 99% of the time, it's because they just, they have this hands-off approach. No, I'm not going to, I'm not going to be social. I'm not going to communicate anymore. Can you, the most failures in the world, I think, have come from lack of communication. I'm speaking from experience with my old company. The number one, the number one reason we failed wasn't PayPal. It was, it was not the state of the industry. It was lack of communication, plain and simple. That's it. That's the only reason we failed. And you can avoid this pitfall. This is why Blaine, I, I talk to Blaine every day. It, it, I, I, I don't know. He might think I'm a little bit of a stalker. But it's, it's not that I'm stalking them. I'm just making sure that the lines of communication are always open. Because if we go weeks without talking to each other, I guarantee you. But we won't because, you know, I harass Blaine like no other. So there you go. Absolutely, Bonnie. Anything. <laughs> it could be. It, like, and this, this sounds so tacky and kind of like I'm just making excuses. But literally, you could pick, put a picture of your cat up. I mean, that's better than nothing you know what i mean like put a picture of you put a picture of what you're eating up for dinner i mean just anything for top of mind so that you show people that you still exist then you start getting your voice you start getting a little bit more creative you can start using canva a little bit more doing videos on your on your phone and stuff like that but just get started do something today and the the biggest thing that, that we that we hear all the time is i don't know what to to write about i don't know what to create what content to create or anything like that Focus on your passion, whatever it may be. It may be a hobby. It may be anything. Uh, as an affiliate marketer, there is legit an affiliate product for every single niche out there. It doesn't matter what it is. If you have something that you are interested in and are passionate about, but don't know how to find a, a product for that or something like that, hit me up. I will help you. I will find it for you. 
Um, but that's all you have to talk about. That's it. That just whatever you're passionate about. It can be your cat. It can be selfies. It can be art. It can be programming code. Anything at all. That is how you, uh, like Jin just said, if you, that's how you get people to relate to you on a more personalized level. Because if it's something that you're passionate about that you like doing, it's going to show in your content, that passion. That's why everybody, that's why I'm always so captivated by John's emails and John's writing because John really, 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 really loves writing and really loves talking about all this stuff. It's depressing how much I do. It's scary. But he's super passionate about it. And I really, really, really like writing code. Um, so when he annoys me, I act all annoyed and stuff. But at the end of the day, I kind of do enjoy it. So, and I complain and I whine. And I'm like, oh, God, John. But that's what we're here for. We're here to uh, build. And we're building each other at the same time. So you, it doesn't matter. Yeah, post your hunting pics. It can be anything. If you like woodworking, if, it does, if right. you like trying different sodas, Try different sodas. It doesn't matter. There's people that will actually subscribe and probably buy stuff from you for that topic. Like, look, look okay, here you go. Here you go. Here's a perfect example. Who, who would you say? We're going to do a little bit of quiz now. Let's see how savvy everybody is here with their social media. Who, I, Jen will probably get this, but we'll, we'll test everybody. Who would you say is the biggest social media star on the planet? Like who, 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 the person who is the most passionate about social media, who has built an entire brand about being the, the voice of new social media, who would you say it is? Let's, let's see. We'll, we'll just throw some names out. We're going to, we're going to do interactive and I'm continuing on the, I'm doing the run on sentence because I know there's a 26 second lag. So I'm just, who would you guys say? Well, let's throw names out there. Let's just see. Let's, let's see. Cause I'm going to show you guys a perfect example of this. Let's just see. We're going to make it super awkward until you people start writing. Things. There you go. Took one second. Bonnie got it. Okay. So Gary V. Jen got it too. Yeah. Gary Vaynerchuk. Okay. Do people know his history? Do you know how he became Gary V? Do you know how he became Gary V? This is how he became. He started chewing dirt to compare the tastes of wine on his blog. Wine Library TV is how he got his start. This is a guy who created an entire brand for himself by chewing dirt to taste what the, what the wine tasted like. There's a, when, when people say there's an earthy taste, Gary V wanted to show people what an earthy taste was for wine. He created an entire brand on wine tasting. Wine tasting, folks. Let's be honest, not the most exciting thing in the world to discuss. Kind of like what Blaine said. This is going back to what Blaine said about the soda. Listen, here's just a crazy idea. You know what the biggest thing right now is? I don't know if you guys go to the supermarkets, a lot of the grocery stores around you, but you know what I see? I see craft sodas, just like the craft breweries. Like everybody's got their little, the little beers and wines that they make in their house and they put a label on it. Well, that's what's happening with soda now. There's a huge, Renee, you've never heard of Gary Vaynerchuk. O M. G. Oh my God. Oh my God. Okay. So <laughs> craft soda, that's a huge market. Like that's a big market that pro I don't know if there is a blog. I'm not saying that you guys should go and do this. I'm just saying that's the kind of stuff when you have a passion for, there's a market for, there's a market for this is, the potential of affiliate marketing. You don't have to talk about TEs all the time. You don't need to talk about building businesses online. You can talk about chewing dirt and talking about what wine tastes like when it has an earthy taste. Craft beer as well. Absolutely, Eliana. I mean, that's, this, is, I'm just, this is just an example. I mean, this is not, by all means, I'm not saying this is the greatest idea ever. I'm just showing you guys where you can kind of you know, get into a niche and it might not be Coca-Cola or McDonald's, but you know what? It's, it's Jones soda company. That's probably one of the biggest craft uh, sodas out there. Jones soda. So, I made it. Yeah. Blaine, Blaine's actually the creator of it. We have a secret. Uh, yeah. 
So uh, <laughs> it's just, you know, I mean, it's just, that's affiliate marketing. That's, that's finding a passion for whatever it is. I, I saw Bonnie talk up there about what your cat is doing. Literally, don't talk about cats. Talk about cat toys. Cat Mon toys, cat food, cat litter, cat homes, cat scratch right. posts. There's, there's a plethora of things like, in any niche, in any, any hobby, any passion. It doesn't matter what it is. There are a million things. I no. promise. Look what Eric's doing right now on CTV. Well, he's not doing a CTV talk. He's doing it on Steam and Sports Talk Social. But he's just, he's talking, of, I don't know why he does this because apparently people like the Calgary Flames. I don't get it. I think they're a disgusting organization. But apparently Eric likes them. That's kind of a jab because I live in Edmonton. Anyways, um, he's talking about the Calgary Flames almost daily now. He's talking about, you know, the, where they're playing, who they're playing, what the lineups are. I mean, that's his passion. He's talking about it. There's a market, as weird as that is, there's actually a market for that. You can literally pick anything. It doesn't have to be in this little box that we've put ourselves into in affiliate marketing. It's like, oh, we got to talk about making money opportunities online. You can, if you want, by all means, you can. That's what we do. But there's, it's, it's big, man. It's a big world out there. Big, big world. Big, big world. Absolutely. Absolutely, Bonnie. Yeah. I mean, it's any of this stuff. This is what's, this is what's, there's, there's, there's a market for literally, and, and you got to think long tail, right? If people know what I'm talking about with long tail, it's Chris Anderson book. He talked about how the majority of the people try to cater to this huge chunk of the market, but savvy marketers and savvy business people are going after the long tail. So it may not be 10 million people. It'll be 10, but those 10 passionate people, will spread the gospel for you more than you could possibly imagine. That's why me and Blaine are more focused, focused, focused. Like really, John, seriously, like, gee, learn how to talk, man. But that's why we're focused on the people that are here right now. And you guys are engage, engaging with us right now, rather than the 10,000 people that didn't show up because 119,000 email addresses got the notice for the, the seminar tonight. You know what? I'm not worried about all the people that aren't here. I'm worried about you guys. That's what me and Blaine are worried about. We're about you guys, giving you guys the best information so we can move forward and you guys can crush it and you guys can do big things with affiliate marketing. Ta -da. Now buy our stuff. No, I'm just joking. <laughs> Where's the offer? No. <laughs> Bless you. Thank you. That came on quick. Cool. Um, let me shut the recording down because that's 52 minutes of pure, unadulterated goodness. This is where um, we give away stuff. This is where we give away stuff. So you guys that aren't here for the live seminar, <laughs> no, I'm just joking. Um, come by anytime. But thanks for watching have, on the YouTubes. I have something to give.